It's come to my attention that a lot of people still don't understand the difference between a cast iron bore and a nicosil bore. This is an aluminum cylinder. It's okay to be jealous of my drawing skills. Aluminum's not hard enough to have a piston going up and down inside of it. So traditionally, what the solution was is press in a sleeve, almost a centimeter thick. And this gets bored out to match the size of the piston. That was happening in most dirt bikes until the early 90s. At that point, we did away with this cast iron bore, the sleeve, and we just put a nicosil plating inside of that aluminum bore. That plating looks like this. This one's pretty well wore out, but it's about three thousandths of an inch thick. Back in the cast iron days, you would have pistons in half millimeter increments. You would buy your piston, bring it to the machine shop, and they would bore your cylinder to the size of that piston. Nowadays, we have A, B, C, and sometimes D pistons, each piston is about three tenths of a thou bigger than its predecessor. And now we match the piston to the size of the bore. There are pros and cons to both. Cast iron is not nearly as hard as nicosil and it wears out quicker, but a cast iron sleeve is a lot stronger than that super thin nicosil inside of a flimsy aluminum cylinder. So cast iron sleeves are still often used where structural integrity is crucial, like sometimes in big bores. The hours that you get out of a nicosil bore, if you maintain it just a little bit though, are way more than what you'd get out of a cast iron bore. Personally, I would never go back to cast iron because you get so much life out of nicosil and it's just as expensive to re-sleeve a bore as it is to nicosil. 